Well, let me ask you this. What did Bernie's Chicken, Bluefin Seafood, Brooklyn Baptist Church, Deli Say No More, Cellar on Green, The Food Gallery, Gervais and Vine, Greens Barbecue, Lamb's Bread, Mr. Friendly's, Nick's Pizzeria, Nona's, Revante, Scooby-Doo, Gelato, Salsa's Kitchen at Wine Bar, Tumble Grill, Wet Willies, and Yesterday's in Five Points all have in common? We're going to tell you that when we come right back live and local from Five Points. Stay with us. a happy tune today because today is a day you can get fed and actually save a life since we are live at yesterday's in five points dr bambi gaddis now when you talk about hiv and aids around the community your name comes to mind because you're you're in the forefront of research prevention and education as well well that's i i thank you i think it's a true story i, I appreciate that uh i uh, my staff mm -hmm. and i have colleagues all over the state however right who we've been well thank you to them as well yeah <laughs> uh, thank you yeah we've been working for the 30 plus years sure. now working in sure. HIV. Um, Real quick, what is, what is the difference HIV and AIDS? A little, a little refresher education. HIV and AIDS, what's the difference? It, there is a difference. Okay. HIV is the virus mm -hmm. that causes AIDS. Okay. AIDS is uh, uh, the name that we give for the clinical diagnosis. Okay. Um, uh, so when we look at our numbers, mm -hmm. uh, I, sh I should tell you that we've made progress since the last time we were together. That is outstanding. Um, for the first time in 30 plus years, South Carolina is now below number uh, the 10th ranking. Fantastic. So we are 13th, uh, our city and the state is now 14th. Okay, that's, that's, yes. that's, good. that's one of the things we want to be down. Yes. For once, South Carolina being low in the numbers is a good thing. And it's for because sure. people are getting sure. educated to getting tested. Right, right. Mm -hmm. And testing really is the biggest thing because you don't, you don't, the numbers actually, I think it's, it's one in six people don't even know that they have HIV. That's a scary thing. It is. And uh, I'll tell you, uh, we have to continue to get people to normalize it right. when they go to their doctors, ask for the test. Sure. Don't be afraid. Uh, the sure. earlier that people know there's HIV status, the sooner we can, if needed, get in treatment because mm -hmm. everyone who tests positive may not need treatment at that time. Right. But the sooner they know, the sooner they can make changes in their behavior sure. and get into clinical care. You know, and, and talking about getting tested, I mean, that's a scary thing. I mean, you know, when you get tested, and of course, you know, if you're responsible, you, you do get tested. I've been tested, and, and it's still, you know, even though I don't necessarily. Um, you know, in that high-risk group, say, mm -hmm. it's still a scary thing. You know, you get that call and you wait, or you, you know, you don't. I'm like, thank goodness. But you don't you have know, to wait scary. anymore. Really? In our office, we can tell you in one minute. Good gracious. That's and good. So, um, That's good. Our, our main goal at that time mm -hmm. is to help people move through right. their diagnosis. I got you. And my colleagues uh, uh, throughout the state, I mean, that's what we're committed to. Sure. Um, and I don't want to... There's so many new evolutions and revolutionary medications now. Right. So people aren't dying from so HIV. It's not, dying and AIDS. it's not the death sentence no, it once was. It absolutely is not. Dr. Bambagatis, of course, today is the National Dine Out for Life. There's a stack of restaurants we're going to have on the screen for you. Today, if you have breakfast, lunch, dinner, and the restaurants participating, money's going to come right back to the South Carolina HIV and AIDS Council as well. So you're going to eat right. today anyway. Come out, eat at the restaurants, and, uh, and just help get the research and education. Keep that number going down and down and down. In fact, we're going to talk about uh, HIV and AIDS this morning. Get some more education with uh, with Dr. Gaddis, and also and they got to eat. They and they have gotta to eat. eat. And we're also going to meet a couple of folks who are living with HIV. We're going to do that this morning here. We educate and uh, and probably get hungry as well. Yes. At yesterday's in Five Points. Stay with us. We're coming back live and local. Guys, worldwide. People are diagnosed with HIV. About every nine minutes, a person is diagnosed. And historically, over 25 million people have died from HIV AIDS. But the tide is starting to turn. Not only are the numbers of new diagnoses going down, the, the term or the, the conversation you have, sir, you have HIV, is no longer the death sentence that it once was. That's thanks to research and education and prevention. And to that end, David Peeble, good morning, sir. Good morning. You actually are living with HIV. Yes, I was diagnosed with HIV in 2003. Okay, now, you know, actually something I learned this morning here is we are educating, and even myself being educated this morning, um, some of the primary ways that, uh, that you, can, you can actually be contracted with HIV, of course, unprotected sex, um, blood transfusion, and this, that's the interesting one, and of course, a dirty needle, if you're, uh, you know, if you're a drug user. But the actual blood transfusion is no longer, as we learned from Dr. Bambi Gaddis, that really isn't even an issue anymore, which is fantastic. No, because our blood supply today, um, every, everything is tested right. um, for right. HIV and other... And other uh, for, and for basically the, anything, right? 
other diseases. So okay. that way, if you are receiving a transfusion, uh, you're receiving. You're pretty, you're pretty safe. So you actually contracted yours uh, through unprotected sex, unprotected which sex, is one of the, yes. the big ways. Make sure you protect yourself no matter mm -hmm. what you're doing. Um, but tell me about that, David. You know, the day the day the doctor says, "Sir, we have to have a conversation." What was that like for you? I mean, they, I mean, the whole world has just come down on you, right? Um, it is. It is. Uh, back then, it was definitely a, a dark day sure. for me. Um, felt like it was the end of my life. Right. Um, and you know, being here sitting with you today, you know, to look back at it, it wasn't. It, you know. Sure. Uh, it was it was a, a big change in my life, mm -hmm. um, but it it really has uh, helped me grow in a, in the long run and be able to help a lot of other people. What what is your daily life like? Is it any different? Your your treatments? You have to get treated, or do you just monitor your health? I mean, how, how does how does that change your life? As uh, you know, as aside from the actual um, you know affliction. No, uh, you know I I live a normal life, right? You know, and that's that's one of the things you know. Um, I, I do have to be mindful of my health, though. I do sure. have to make sure that I take my medicines and mm -hmm. that I go to my uh, doctor's appointments on a regularly, regular basis. Right. Um, you know, but the, the, the little things like that help you be able to, to stay healthy, stay active, sure. um, and to, you know, to be a part of the community. Now, you had said something earlier. You said that back in the day, you know, 90s, even, even probably 2003 or so, if you uh, if you had the you know the affliction, you would actually be given an expiration date. Yeah, I, I call it an expiration. I mean, that's, date. that's a scary um, that's a scary conversation to have. I, I I like to call it an expiration date because they used to say you know that you know well you've got you know ten years or fifteen right. years, um, but you know science has has changed a lot. Sure. In, in ten years or in thirty years really, um, we went from a period of of not having any treatment and um, today. Uh, with, with the treatment that we do have, you can live just as long as uh, anybody else, as pretty much. You stuff that near you're actually living proof, as they say. David Peeble uh, living with HIV. Today, of course, is the Dining Out for Life Day. Breakfast, lunch, dinner at uh, over 20 restaurants throughout the town. We're going to put them for you on the screen, and you can certainly log on to watch.com and get them as well. If you're going to eat anyway, breakfast, lunch, dinner, you can actually help raise money for research, for education, diagnosing, and prevention, and maybe even mm -hmm. somebody a cure with any luck. Yes. Uh, for sure. So, guys, we're going to put details for you there. But, David, thank you for sharing your story this thank morning. Thank you very I mean, much. It really is about behavior, protection, and getting tested, guys, getting tested. We're going to continue on learning more about HIV and AIDS this morning at yesterday's in Five Points. Coming for breakfast, lunch, dinner. Well, maybe not breakfast, although we might try to whip up the grill. Stay with us. We're coming back. Since the world really kind of found out about HIV and AIDS in your early 80s, it has come with it a bunch of stigmas in the minds of people, probably a lack of education, that it's a homosexual disease, it's a drug user disease. There's a lot of myths that get tied into HIV and AIDS. And we're going to learn some of that this morning as we get ready to celebrate Dine In for Life. We'll talk, Dine Out for Life. We'll talk about that in a few minutes. But from the South Carolina HIV AIDS Council, Dr. Bambi Gaddis, thank you for your Good work, morning. by the way. Thank you. It really is kind of an education thing, right? Because there are a lot of myths. We talked a couple of minutes ago. You can't get it from mosquitoes. No. You can't get it by breathing the same air as someone with HIV. No, nor can you get it from touching right? someone. Right, and mm -hmm. that's an important distinction, too. I, I, I think you're right. A lot of the fears were scared of the unknown. And there's not a lot of, there's a lot of myths that people just don't know. What are some of the big ones you hear that you, in your office, you just shake your head and go, oh, God. Well, um, we try, the, you know, the myths of the 80s mm -hmm. are unfortunately some of the same myths that people uh, still maintain and we really are trying to drive home the message right. you cannot contract this virus from touching people sure. or sitting behind them oh, like in a lavatory setting right um, you can the, the you brought it up earlier about your blood transfusions yeah and that's that's one that I you know I guess we, we've heard that's Magic Johnson how he contracted HIV it was a blood transfusion well I, I'm not supposed, sure okay. how we contracted it but I do know that, that that's what the street word is anyway. The American Red Cross for many, many years had to dispel the myth right. that uh, sh uh, sharing uh, blood or c getting blood, you can only uh, contract the virus if you share blood from someone that has it. The right. only way you know it is if they're tested sure. or you're tested. Okay. So that's again drives back the conversation about we should know our status, sure. regardless of whether we're sh married, mm -hmm. uh, whether we're single, straight, Right. gay, uh, or whatever. We just ask for the test. 
Sure. Um, it's free now with the Affordable Care Act. Oh, it's part that, of the essential health benefit. So anyone can ask for it, and it's free. And you can find out, like you said, instantly. Absolutely. Instantly. I know, well, we can tell you in one minute. That is, and, that's, and that's so that great. is the evolution. Great, that, that used to be, you know, a week or two days, and you got a few days going, oh, my God. I remember the, the, um, the episode of Golden Girls where mm -hmm. Rose was tested and, the, you know, the, the anguish you have oh. to go through and had to sit and mm -hmm. wait and wonder. And, you know, it, it, you know, it's crazy. It's, it really is about education. And speaking of education, mm -hmm. the reason we're at yesterday is in five points. It is dine out for life today. That is, 20 right? or so restaurants around the Midlands. You come out and have breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Money that uh, you spend on your dinner, a portion of that's going to go right back to the AIDS Council. And support our clinic. Education, awareness, the clinic, all that's the efforts. Right. you got to eat today. There's a list on the screen we're going to put up for you. And also, if you uh, check out watch.com. And what is your website? Our website is www schivaidscouncil.org. There you go. schivaidscouncil.org. I'll we'll put that on the screen for you as well, guys. We're going to continue on and talk about living with HIV. Uh, we're going to meet another, another person here in the community who is, in fact, living with HIV and help Absolutely. to dispel the myths and educate today. Absolutely. Stay with us. We are coming back. So, guys, this morning we're live and local at Yesterday's in Five Points. Why are we at Yesterday's? They are one of the 20 restaurants where you can have breakfast, lunch, or dinner today and help raise money for awareness, education, and, of course, testing of HIV. Very important day to eat, right? you got to eat. It's a very important cause. Now, for a long time, you think of HIV and AIDS as a death sentence. Well, maybe 20, 30 years ago, it was more so than it is today. And uh, as proof of that, Brandon Allen, my friend, you have HIV. Yes, sir. And you were very much alive. Yes, sir. <laughs> So, hey, right. <laughs> right there. <laughs> Hi, Mom. So tell me about how you, uh, you came to have HIV because you were in a relationship. I was in a relationship. Right. I was in a relationship for about six months. We both got tested for um, the first six months of our relationship. We decided on one night that we weren't going to use condoms, and on that night was the night that I contracted HIV from him. Right. Turns out that he had maybe stepped yeah, out a little bit out and, in the relationship. and contracted himself and then passed it on to you. Yes, sir. What, what was that like for you, man? When you, you know, you go in, you get tested again. That's a responsible thing to do is get tested. And the doc says, Mr. Allen, we have to have a conversation. It is a rush of emotions from right. fear to anger to sorrow to grief to not even knowing what you're going to do. It's like I woke up one morning and I was Brandon and I woke up the next morning and I didn't realize who I was. Sure. Well, within a minute. 10 minutes rather I didn't know who I was anymore and it's, it scared me right. to be in that position of not having control over my life and where I'm going at um, when I was diagnosed it was still stigma about how long you lived and if you were going right. to survive and so in my mind I'm like Jesus Christ am I going to make it till next year to see right. my nieces and nephews and so that's the scary part sure sure and obviously you know you're very much alive and, and you're very healthy what I mean what's your daily life like now I mean has it has it really changed now you've gone over the okay you're still Brandon you're still, still alive me. you still wake up every day you still eat your Wheaties <laughs> and Cheerios uh, what's your life like ha has it really besides the fact that you know every day you're cognizant you're living with it has it changed you all yes I eat for my dietary, I eat more more lean foods, more beef, I'm right. sorry, more chicken, more fish, more baked right. foods. I exercise more. I try to reduce my cigarettes and my weed. Sure. Uh, well, these are all, this is all good advice for anybody. For really. anybody, yeah, for anyone. Um, mentally, I think it has shaped my mind. It gives me a greater appreciation for the things that I do have in life. So before okay. I was diagnosed, it was nothing for me to get up in the morning and take a shower and not think about it. Sure. And now it's like every second counts. Everything right. I do, it counts. And I want to make the best of it and help somebody out so that way they don't have to catch it. Sure, sure. And of course, you know, we talked, we met uh, a while ago, someone else who's had it for, uh, for about 13, 14 years. Our friend David, and so it really isn't that death sentence. You know, you no, pass no, that no, now, no, where no, you, no. you know, you change a little bit. You've got to take your medicine, that kind of thing. But, you know, for all intents and purposes, you have a heck of a long life ahead of you. Yes, for sure. I plan on it. There you go, guys. No, we're we're learning, educating ourselves, and hopefully you about HIV AIDS, spelling some of the myths, and of course, talking about dining out today. You can dine out for life at 20 restaurants throughout town. Go to dine out for life slash Columbia. You can eat. You can help HIV. You can help you know, defeat HIV. It's a great little day today. It's a nationwide event, and it's happening right here in Columbia as well. Stay with us. We're coming back from yesterday's. So, guys, all morning long, we've been live and local in Five Points at yesterday's restaurant in Tavern because that is one of the restaurants partaking today in the Dining Out for Life National Day yes. for uh, HIV and AIDS Awareness and Education, Dr. Bambi Gaddis, South Carolina HIV AIDS Council. Yes. So we've been learning about uh, some of the myths 
some of the uh, some of the facts actually and myths about HIV. We've met two gentlemen who are living, and it's an important distinction, living with HIV. Great mm -hmm. guys. And uh, today, though, is the big day nationally to go get our food on, right? It is. As a matter of fact, uh, Columbia is only one of many cities throughout the country celebrating right. Dining Out for Life. Last year, they raised over four million dollars. Four so million dollars. Nationally, not here in Columbia. Nationally, <laughs> four million dollars. Okay. But we want it for the we really want Columbia to get on the map right. this right. year. Um, we need folks and asking folks to come out and make a difference sure. by just coming out to eat. Just coming out to eat. Just pick a restaurant, go they can go to um, uh, Dining Out for Life. There you go. Dining Out for Life. Dot com slash, slash Columbia. And, and guys, look we at have those on the screens. If you could run that back to the station, we've got the list of all the uh, the restaurants, a whole list, about 20 of them, right? Yes. And so and Ravance. And Ravance, that's right. So you can do some dining we and shopping. We need some women to shop till they drop. Dining and shopping, yes. that's right. So you go out to eat breakfast, lunch, dinner. Hey, how are you? Good to see you. <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, you come out, you're going to eat anyway, but it all goes to the great cause. You're talking education, awareness, testing, and hopefully somebody a cure for HIV. And our mobile unit program and our new testing and Fantastic treatment stuff. clinic. Fantastic mm -hmm. stuff, guys. So all day long, you're going to eat breakfast, lunch, dinner. Come to yesterday's, open for lunch and dinner. You come into yesterday's and uh, have Scoopy some Scoopy Doo's around the corner. Scoopy Doo's around the corner. Let's give that list real quick, guys. we, we got a couple Wait. of seconds. So you got Bernie's Chicken, Bluefish Seafood, Brooklyn Baptist Church, Deli Say No More, Cellar on Green, The Food Gallery, Jeff and Vine, Green's Barbecue, Mr. Friendly. And Nikki's Pizzeria, Nona's, Ravance, Rosso, Scoopy Doo, Stolstice, Tumbo Grill, Wet Willies, and Yesterday. Yesterday's, guys. Come out, eat. You can eat to live. Just like that. This yes. Man, Gattis, Thank you guys. so much. We're going to put details for you at watch.com as well. We're going to close the broadcast at Thomas Travels portion. Where we're going to stay live and local, of course, on Good Day Columbia till 9 o'clock. We're coming back. Stay with us. You got to eat. Awesome, awesome, yeah, thank you. Yeah.